Hi everybody, I had a request to solve this problem, question number four from the reference circle at simple harmonic motion particle. So I'll just read this question out so that we all know what we're looking at. So an object moving in simple harmonic motion of period eight seconds moves 1.4 meters from its end position in 2.5 seconds. The first thing we have to do is calculate the angular frequency and that's quite straightforward. Here's your period, which is t. So 2 pi over t will give you angular frequency. Okay, then the next thing we have to do is draw a reference circle and mark on it the positions of the SHM and reference particles at the start. So it says end position. So let's assume it goes from the bottom. Okay. I'll just show you the working in a moment. Then what we have to do is by considering how long it would take the SHM particle to travel to the equilibrium position, mark on the diagram an approximate position at the finish. And then we've got to draw the angle theta through which the reference particle turns. And once we've drawn this, we have to calculate the angle and then calculate the amplitude of simple harmonic motion. So I've just drawn it out for you on here. So the first thing is to calculate the angular frequency. So omega is 2 pi over t and you end up with this number. Okay, so over here I've just written what the period is, 8 seconds. So what does that mean? So it takes for the reference particle, it takes 8 seconds to do the whole circle. Okay. In that eight seconds, the simple harmonic motion particle has gone from the bottom all the way to the top and all the way back. Now let's divide this into four parts. So it's going to take two seconds to reach till here, another two seconds to go to there, two seconds back and two seconds. So it says it takes 2.5 seconds to go from the bottom to somewhere. So if it's going to take two seconds to go to here, it's going to go above the equilibrium. And that's how far it goes in 2.5 seconds. And the distance it goes from the bottom to here is 1.4 meters. Okay, so the distance from the bottom to equilibrium is the amplitude. And then the distance from the equilibrium, this extra bit, is 1.4 minus a because this whole distance is 1.4 all right and then it said mark on this reference circle where the shm particle and the reference particle was at the start so i have just put t equals zero let's assume it's here and then the reference particles moved all the way till here in 2.5 seconds okay so that's the angle it's turned through. Then the next question is calculate the angle, this angle through which the reference particle has turned through. So there are many ways of doing it, but this is one way of doing it. Okay, so I do it the proportion way. So in eight seconds, it moves 360 degrees. So in 2.5 seconds, how much is it going to go? So it's 2.5 over 8 times 360 and I get 112.5 degrees. So that means this whole angle is 112.5. Okay, now I've just drawn this diagram over here. And then the next thing we have to do is calculate this, the length of this red arrow, which is the amplitude. So if you just look at this diagram, in order to do that, it's easiest to use a right angle triangle. Okay, so in this right angle triangle, this theta here is actually 112.5 minus 90, which is 22.5 degrees. Okay, and then in this right angle triangle, this is your amplitude. We don't know what that is. This little displacement, okay, is 1.4 minus A, so which is the same as this. So looking at this right angle triangle, we get sine theta is the opposite divided by hypotenuse. The opposite is 1.4 minus A and the hypotenuse is capital A. So let's put that together. 
So you get sine 22.5 degrees is 1.4 minus A over A. Okay, so that's your opposite over hypotenuse. And if I put sine 22.5 into my calculator, I get 0 0.327 is equal to this number. And then I'm just going to get multiply both sides by A. So I get 0.3827A equals 1.4 minus A. I'm just going to get the A across to that side because it's minus. It becomes 0.3827A plus A equals 1.4. Factorize A is a common factor. So this becomes 1. And then you add those two, it becomes 1.3827A equals 1.4, or A equals 1.4 over that. And then you get this answer, 1.01 .01 meters. So that's that question four for you. I hope that made sense, okay? So you can pause this at any time and replay it, but that's the final answer. Bye for now.